Happy holiday geeks and welcome to my channel. We're back at Trader Joe's and we'll be exploring everything from prepackaged salads, burritos, dips and cheeses in the refrigerated section to a new vegan and gluten-free item that arrived this week and also a sneak peek at a new item that will be arriving in January. Stick around until the end because there will be grocery hauls and also a closer look at some of the items as well as some holiday goodies I picked up. Now let's check out what Trader Joe's has for us this week. If you still need last minute gifts, the plants at Trader Joe's this time of year make great gifts and there's still a lot to choose from. There's beautiful seasonal bouquets for $6.99 and this is what the Zygo cactus looks like when the flowers bloom on it. There's red and white flowers for $6.99 and this is new large white poinsettias for $14.99 although this totally looks yellow and also the J'adore pink poinsettias are still here. You have a choice of either a light pale pink or a brighter pink and they come in a silver or gold metallic vase and these are $7.99. Also new are these holiday boxed orchids that would be lovely to give to whoever is hosting a holiday gathering for $10.99. On top of the boxes, there's cute little pine cones and the boxes come in three different colors. There's a white, a natural wood, or green, and you can either pick a white or a purple orchid. Here's a closer look at the purple orchid. It's so pretty. They are a little bit smaller. And there's also exotic orchids that are larger in size, and I'm not sure the price on these, but these would also make really nice gifts. And just taking a minute here to enjoy some of the holiday cute decorations at the store, it's always nice to see how each store adds its unique touch to create a festive shopping atmosphere for us. And there's still some squash left, delicata, my favorite, acorn, spaghetti, and butternut. Also, this is the time of year to grab the stock of Brussels sprouts and some globe artichokes. Onto the refrigerated section, there's a ton of prepackaged salads to choose from. I think I counted 24 salads, so there's no shortage of variety here. The prices range from $3.49 all the way up to $6.99. My go-to choices usually are the Waldorf salad, the harvest salad with grilled chicken, the broccoli slaw and kale salad with chicken, and they also have a harvest worm bowl, and that's pretty good. It includes rice and sweet potatoes, apples, and dried cranberries, and comes with a balsamic maple vinaigrette. These salads really come in handy if you need a quick option for for lunch or if you're traveling and you need like a grab and go option. My all time favorite though is right here, the crunchy slaw chicken salad. This comes with like the best sesame dressing and the Pasadena chicken salad. That one comes with a lot of lettuce and is pretty filling. Staying in the refrigerated section, there's lots of burritos to choose from. Breakfast burritos to the roasted turkey and sweet potato burrito. That's a seasonal item. And there's chicken asado and carnitas and the cheeseburger burrito I've heard mixed reviews on. Let us know if you have a favorite burrito that you've tried. And this is new, the Brick of Cream Cheese by Prairie Farms. Maybe they're going with a different vendor and this is $1.99. And there's still some hot cocoa cream cheese left, which is seasonal and that is $2.79. And now let's take a look at the cheeses and see what we can find here. My store finally got in the new creamy gorgonzola style cheese. I think these come pre-sliced and these are $4.99. They also have the fromage pavé still for $6.99. This is the best time of year to get cheeses because they have such a wide variety, especially a lot of the seasonal cheeses come out. There's such a wide variety of different types of brie to choose from and there's also lots of gouda. There's also a lot of hummus to choose from at Trader Joe's but actually they got rid of some flavors it seems. They used to have an eggplant hummus and a horseradish hummus. Do you guys remember those? And the roasted red pepper hummus. I know a lot of people like this. That's $3.49. And the garlic spread. This is one of my favorites. It's basically a creamy, fatty, garlicky spread that's great on bread, sandwiches, pasta, baked potatoes, even rice. The pimento cheese dip is also another popular one but I just remember it being okay. And the spicy Greek cheese spread. That isn't really spicy and tastes tangy. It almost reminded me of like a buffalo style spread, but better. And they still have the cannoli dip. I'll be sharing what you can pair with that cannoli dip in another video and the garlic and asiago cheese dip and the roasted hatch chili and jalapeno cheese dip both came out earlier this year and these would be great to serve during the holidays both are $4.99 also lots of cheese spreads the unexpected cheddar ones and also the Syrah Toscano cheese spread are all seasonal you can't go wrong with the spinach dips and then there's also the two onion dips one is vegan and also the tzatziki dips also have a regular and vegan option as well now moving on to the freezer section
collection, I keep checking every week for the Korean kimbap. And to this day, I still haven't found it. And I've checked all the local stores nearby, but I don't know, I guess they sell out so quickly. But I still keep checking every single time I go. And also I heard that the same supplier who makes the kimbap is going to be selling at Costco starting next year. So keep an eye out for that if you shop at Costco. And now for the new item of the week is the tofu sheets, which is also known as Japanese yuba. And you can add this to stir fry or soups or curries or use it as a wrapper. And let's take a look at the nutrition facts. It's 150 calories per serving, 15 grams of protein, and it's low in sodium and made with only two ingredients, which is nice to see. It's just soybeans and water and you can microwave them. And these are $2.99. And I just quickly wanted to show you that you might have already tried the tofu sheets without even knowing if you have tried the Thai green curry, which is really spicy by the way. And this curry is $4.69. The Taiwanese green onion pancakes are delicious. I should revisit those soon and the korean scallion pancakes are also yummy but very oily lots of mac and cheese options like the uncured pepperoni pizza mac and cheese bowl there's a gluten-free option and a reduced guilt option and the regular mac and cheese also lots of frozen appetizers the buffalo style chicken poppers turkey corn dogs the mini cheeseburger sliders and pickled pups these look like they would be good options for super bowl parties the cod custard tarts were new this year mozzarella sticks fried ravioli now let's check out the ice creams and desserts one of my favorite sections there's still some gingerbread ice creams left so grab some because i'm sure they'll be gone really soon now that christmas is only days away and there's four different ice cream sandwiches to choose from, bonbons, the mini chocolate mousse cups are seasonal, so grab those while you can. The peppermint mini hold the cones are already gone for the season, so these items go quick. There's four different mochi flavors. There's vanilla, chocolate, green tea, and strawberry. The boozy macarons are seasonal, and the classic lemon bars are offered year round, which reminds me that they didn't bring back the cranberry orange bars this year. The Italian cream puffs are also seasonal, one of my favorites, so grab a box of them before they're gone as well. A lot of people have been disappointed with the new tiramisu, which I've said before, it's probably due to the thaw time, but I absolutely loved it. And you can check out my review on it if you want in my last video or Instagram. And now for the sneak peek of the new item that's going to arrive in January is the Thai coconut pancakes. These are both vegan and gluten-free, and I love Thai food, and there's this Thai dessert shop in Thai town that I like to go to when I'm in Los Angeles that actually sells these, and so I already know what they taste like. They're soft and spongy and squishy. They're a little crispy on the outside edges, and they're like creamy and soft on the inside. It does taste like coconut, but it isn't overwhelming, and they're just mildly sweet, so I'm really excited to try it and see how they compare, so stay tuned for that later on. Now moving on to the bakery section, the almond ring danish i heard was good three types of scones the cranberry orange vanilla and blueberry the brookie is offered year round the brownie bites croissants coconut macaroons and the french apple tart this is seasonal i really want to try it but i have so many sweets right now the raspberry croissant that is new this year and the apple crumble pie so one of you mentioned in the comments that this pie which is one of my favorites is going to be discontinued and i found the article online and it was kind of confusing because i don't know if they meant that this will no longer be offered in january next month and it's only here until december 31st or if it's going to be discontinued entirely next year so then i tried listening to the trader joe's podcast which is where the article said they got their information from allegedly but there was no mention of it so hopefully it remains a seasonal item. That's it for shopping this week. Let's jump right into this week's haul, starting with an Aldi haul. I happened to shop there first this week, so I just picked up my staple item kale, which I usually get from Trader Joe's every week. I have this almost daily for breakfast. I saute it with some mushrooms and have it with a runny egg. And I don't know what I'm gonna do for Christmas dinner this year, but, but I grabbed a bag of stuffing just in case I wanted to have stuffing for Christmas dinner. Also picked up some cucumbers to make a salad with tomatoes, red onion, feta cheese, and maybe throw on some chickpeas. So I needed some grape tomatoes for that salad. 
and then also the MV apples which are my favorite they were so cheap at Aldi they were $3.19 so I couldn't pass it up even though they never taste quite as good as the single ones sold at Trader Joe's and I also wanted to try these tater tots because I saw this on another youtubers haul and they said it was really good which I'll be reviewing in this video really soon and the melting wafers this is um, a first-time purchase I think I'm being overly ambitious I thought I would make white chocolate dip pretzels with these but honestly I don't know when I really will have the time so these will probably be sitting in my pantry for a while also picked a bag of marshmallows because i wanted to supplement the peppermint marshmallows that i got from trader joe's to make rice krispie treats and then i picked up brie which is the first time ever guys i never used to like brie like when i was at a party i would always pass on it but after taking a long break from it and then sampling it again at trader joe's this year i started to kind of like it and for the price and size i couldn't not get it especially because i saw a recipe of a grilled cheese sandwich with brie pear and prosciutto so I used the Harry and David Comas pears and paired it with the prosciutto from Costco and the other half of the sandwich the right side I used a sharp cheddar which actually didn't taste really sharp after it melted for some reason and I wanted to show you guys the tater tots so let me preface this by saying I've never really been a fan of tater tots even as a kid I thought they were always too greasy and then the shredded potatoes on the inside always tasted undercooked and too flaky so I just never cared for them but man alive these are literally the best tater tots I've ever had in my life the bag says that it comes pre-fried and maybe that's why it tastes so good I don't know I put them in my air fryer at 370 for about like 12 to 14 minutes and they literally taste like little hash brown nuggets they're super crispy I mean they taste like something you would buy at a fast food place or a festival I can't believe how insanely good they are I'm definitely going to grab another bag and for my Aldi shoppers I want to ask you is this a year-round item that I've never known about or are these a seasonal item and now moving on to the Trader Joe's haul I picked up some tamales because I haven't had them in a long time and they just sounded good so got some of those picked up some carrots to munch on with my hummus snack packs that I got last week and still haven't opened and I'm back on my edamame kick so I grabbed another bag this week also on my tofu kick again as well I usually get this a lot during the winter time I like to either saute it or add it to soups and I needed some lettuce to make a salad and I picked up one of my favorite seasonal veggies as you guys already know parsnips actually I got two bags of parsnips because I go through them pretty quickly I like to roast these and make parsnips fries with it and then I know I said I was done with delicata squash after the last few times with them not being sweet but I saw this big huge one and I couldn't help it and I know that any day now these are going to be gone for another year so I grabbed one of those and then also got some tomato soup to pair with the grilled cheese sandwiches that I'll be making and then I enjoyed the step up to the stack bar mix so much last week that I decided to try the spicy version and then also got another can of the regular one to have throughout like the next couple of months and then the eggnog yogurt which has more of like a true eggnog flavor to me than the light eggnog that I purchased which kind of tasted like bubble gum and not like actual creamy eggnog anyway I know that these eggnog yogurts are going to be gone any day now so I grabbed them and then one last thing from Aldi actually the main reason I went there this week was to buy these magnetic tiles as a gift and these were a really good deal and half the price of the ones that I saw on Amazon so I grabbed that and then also just a few more items I picked up this week from Sam's Club which is where I get the bulk of my produce they have the best deal on asparagus which is why I always pick up a bag when I'm there and then also got broccolini and a head of cauliflower and I wanted to share my thoughts on the chocolate peppermint loaf mix I tried it for the first time this year along with the peppermint baking chips which were new so right off the bat you can see that this didn't turn out to be the prettiest but it tasted delicious um, i've seen a lot of people use these peppermint baking chips in their cookies and they came out totally intact and not melted so i'm not sure what i'm doing wrong i'm assuming they bake the cookies at 350 degrees which is the same temperature as this loaf so i'm not sure why other than maybe the longer baking time why these chips melted and kind of exploded everywhere if you guys have 
have any tips though, please let me know because I have almost like a full bag of these peppermint baking chips left. And then also just sharing some cookies I baked for a potluck. This was my first time using cookie cutters and I had so much fun making these that I think that these might actually become a Christmas tradition I might take on. My sister used to make the best Christmas cookie assortment and she made it from scratch, which hopefully she'll get back into sometime. And then also made some gingerbread scones for the potluck with the lemon drizzle on top, but I totally forgot to record the end result. And out of the three things that I bought to the holiday potluck, the cookies, the chocolate peppermint loaf from Trader Joe's, which I thought would be the fan favorite, they actually like the gingerbread scones the best. And this is random, but I went to Starbucks and I had a gift card I had to use up, so I picked up a pumpkin cream cold brew, which I'm surprised they still carry because it's no longer fall. And also the cranberry bliss bar, which I tried for the first time. This was so sweet that it didn't taste like anything, if that makes sense. It just tasted like pure sugar. I couldn't even taste the cranberries because the icing on it was so sweet that it just kind of took over the entire flavor profile of the bar. So that's a one and done. And then I stopped by Porter's Bakery, which I've mentioned a few times before in other videos. It's a local bakery in Southern California that has a few locations. A friend mentioned that they have seasonal items right now. So I picked up an oatmeal raisin cookie, a chocolate chip cookie. They have those year round. And of course I had to get the adorable gingerbread cookie and then also had a pumpkin muffin with a crumble on top, which was so good. And also a pumpkin cheesecake, which was absolutely delicious, mainly because it wasn't overly sweet, so I could actually taste the pumpkin. And then they also had these adorable mini pumpkin pies, which were hands down my favorite. These tasted like, like a creamy pumpkin custard without being overwhelmed by the pumpkin spices. Like the Costco pumpkin pies, they're so spicy that I don't like it. And the crust always tastes like raw and kind of undercooked or underbaked. But these were amazing because the crust tasted like a cookie and they also had a crunchy texture like a cookie. I loved it so much that I went back a few days later because I wanted to have this for Christmas dessert, but they were already sold out for the season. I was wondering why they had it so late in December still, but, but of course they're now gone. All right, geeks, that's it for this week's shopping hauls and goodies. I'll be taking a break next week, so there won't be a video, but I wish you all a joyful holiday season, whether you're celebrating Christmas or any other festive occasion. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, which really helps my channel. Please subscribe if you're new and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, ciao guys.